Welcome to the Office of Computer Services online self-service portal powered by Fresh Service. The portal is the one-stop hub for your technology needs. On this website, you can get help from our office and find answers and solutions for common questions. The portal is available to all faculty, staff, and students at helpdesk.cane.edu. At the top of the page, you can find links to all of the site's features. Notifications for your tickets. Our solutions database and FAQ. All of your tickets. A catalog of forms for all services. The portal for remote support sessions. Your own profile information. And of course, filing tickets. If you are a supervisor, you can also find approvals that have been sent to you. These features are also clearly labeled with icons to find easily at a glance on the front page. You can also search the entire site to quickly find information, forms, and even your own tickets and jump to them directly from the front page. Scrolling down, you can find any announcements posted, such as internet outages and maintenance. You'll also see the categories for our solutions articles and the most popular resources. The bottom of the website also includes convenient links to the most widely used websites on campus. When something goes wrong, you can submit an incident ticket through this form. A variety of fields will let you tell us everything we need to know. If you're not sure how to rate the impact or urgency of the ticket, the form will explain the selected level. After you've described your issue, you can also send us any relevant attachments, such as photos, screenshots, or a file that isn't working properly. As you fill out the fields, the portal will suggest solutions that might be relevant. If you're having a problem connecting to the internet, it'll show internet-related tutorials and explanations. The portal's guesses may not always match your issue, but many common problems can be resolved by following simple steps so it's highly recommended to check the solution articles. It's also helpful if you tell us what solutions you may have tried that didn't work. The links will open in a new tab, so you will not lose what you filled out. Let's take a look at the solutions database and how to use it. The solutions database is similar to an FAQ or a wiki. It's filled with both tutorials and explanations. Our tutorials include screenshots and thorough, organized steps so that you can follow along no matter your computer skills. All of our articles are grouped into various categories, each with descriptive folders of their own. You can find more info about how to use the portal through the Welcome to the Portal section. If you have any questions about procedures, policies, or common error messages, they will be explained on the portal. If you're not sure where to look for your question, you can click on the link that appears, or you can submit your search to view the full results page. The service catalog is for all tickets that are not incidents, service requests. These are routine procedures and forms. Access and account setup, borrowing and purchasing equipment, installing software, event support, and all other services can be found here. Each service has its own form to make sure we get all the specific information we need. For more information on the service catalog, make sure to check out our solutions database. The portal also has a quick link to the Beyond Trust support page, where you can input the session key that a technician has sent you for a remote session. In your personal ticket page, you can view all of the tickets you've ever filed, whether they were incidents or service requests. You can filter and sort them, and you can view their current status at a glance on the right side. This is what a tickets page looks like. It will show you all the information you submitted and also allow you to update the ticket with new information. Any replies you get from technicians will also be listed, and you'll be able to reply back. At the top, you'll also see some useful ticket management options, including the ability to close a ticket yourself if it is no longer needed. Outside of the ticket view, you'll get notifications on the portal for changes to your tickets, as well as any approvals. You'll also get email notifications. In the settings, you can choose what notifications you receive and turn off the notification sound.
Lastly, you have your own profile in the portal, visible only to our technicians. This can help give us more information about you, such as how you'd prefer to be addressed, your hours of availability, necessary accommodations, or anything else you'd like to let us know that can help us help you. And that's how to navigate the new OSIS self-service website and help desk support portal. For more guidance, you can visit the Welcome to the Portal category under the Solutions page.